Good morning. It's Monday 24th of April 2023 and I'm gonna do a sector and or US market and US sectors run through. Since it's the Monday new day of, of a new week, I'll just hide those drawings. I will show also the weekly chart and the daily chart. I only normally use the daily chart in the middle of the week. But now let's check check at the I mean <laughs> But now let's also look at the weekly one. SP500 weekly going up, daily going down. Kind of hard to say what to do maybe if the momentum indicators work as they kind of usually do, maybe this bear wave will be a weak one. It could, it could also be something totally different. Nasdaq, the weekly uh, moment of wave has been going up for a really long time. The daily has turned down. I'm starting to look at maybe, who knows, Nasdaq will uh, create a top here and then take a next bigger wave down based on the weekly. Dow Jones recently weekly turned positive, but daily is turning negative. I wouldn't necessarily trade long from here. I would watch this bear wave to maybe turn back to positive somewhere here. If it turns above the moving averages, then I would be jumping into this weekly upswing. IWM, so Russell 2000, bear wave on the weekly, bear wave on the daily. This looks like fantastic short to me. IWO is the growth ETF in Russell 2000. Making a, you see there, blue on the weekly. That's a bull turn warning color. And there was already this trigger here. So, but now the daily is going orange, but it kind of looks like growth may want to start the next leg higher soon. Worth watching over the following weeks, see how that goes. Volatility moving higher, I'm not gonna take a look at that. Bitcoin started a bearish weekly wave. Confirmed warning color from last one, this is the current week. It's not confirmed yet, but it looks like it could become the first confirmed bear wave week. The daily is also going down. Looks like a great short, maybe not from these exact levels. Maybe yes, who knows? If you're trading longer term, pretty much the same story in Ethereum. Trading longer term somewhere from here as the support is breaking. You see there's a price level here, right here could be a great time to trade down towards 1,600, 1,500 or wherever the next bottom would be. Going to the sectors, stock market sectors, energy, weekly upswing, daily downswing. My personal approach here is I've sold uh, strangles to bet that it stays between, I, I think it was maybe 92, 75, something like that. Pretty wide. XLF, uh, the weekly has been bottoming, bottoming, maybe, but the daily is turning lower. So maybe this goes and makes, makes new lows, who knows? It can even give a few blue colors and then give more downside. So I wouldn't be trading this long just because it looks like, oh, it may be, it's maybe creating a bottom because here we've got a bear turn. I would rather go short XLF. XLB, I'm short XLB. It's in a weekly bear wave and the daily bear wave just started. XLK is pretty much the same as Nasdaq, weekly going higher, daily going lower, but the daily is still above all the moving averages, so the chart is really strong. The next bull turn, I'd be really interested in checking how that can be. XLU, weekly has turned higher, daily has turned lower, and the daily is still below the moving averages. Tried to break higher, but did not manage to. 
Mm -hmm. Could it be something like this coming? I would say yes, but I can be wrong. Time will tell. XLI, weekly top zone, daily turn lower. Or that's a warning color. So it would be, probably could be a very nice time to go short XLI, so industrial sector. Uh, healthcare, weekly upswing, daily downswing. So will it become chop or what will it become? Hard to say, hard to say. But probably not gonna go much higher until this wave is over. So selling something like call credit spreads could be a fine way to approach this or like I'm approaching XLE short strangles or iron condors if you like trading like defined risk. XLY weekly up daily down but the daily that is going down is not really going down. Interesting. On the next bull turn this could be a fine long. XLP weekly up daily down. But is the daily really down? No, no it's not. Even stronger than XLY. Looking really good. So when the daily down wave is gone and the up wave starts, maybe something like this, who knows? Real estate, weekly down, daily down. Time to short real estate? Who knows? Maybe I'll take a step at this. XLC, this is again, Communication services, so company like companies like Meta and that sort of things. Pretty much like Nasdaq. Weekly up, daily down. Is the daily really going down? Well, yes it is, but it's still looking pretty strong. XBI, so biotech. Daily, oh uh, sorry, weekly. Bull turn warning. Daily, still in an upswing. But currently blocked below the moving average. Hard to say. XRT. I'm short XRT weekly bearish, daily bearish. Actually, actually I'm not short XRT. I'm short ANF, which is a company within that and here weekly and daily bearish. So let's go back to where were we, XHB, uh, weekly, bearish, daily, still bullish, home builders. When this finally turns, if the weekly is still bearish, could be an interesting short. Semiconductors, weekly, bearish, daily bearish. But daily is pretty strong. What to do with this? I don't know. Could be a long candidate, but if the weekly charts starts starts to dominate, then whew, there's a lot of way down from 250. XOP, so oil producers, weekly up, starting to enter enter chop. Or well, what is this? It's chop. Daily turned down, could take a short here. Kind of a bit late for that though. $10 already down. Clean energy. This is the last one on the list. Weekly up, but in chop. Daily down. What to do? Maybe nothing. Maybe go short. Maybe strangles or iron condors. Or if you don't know what to do, don't touch this. There were, I think, much easier trades to be had elsewhere. I just don't remember what they were. Maybe XLF was one of them. Yeah, could be. Who knows? Anyway. I hope this was helpful. If you would like to have the tools reversalcatcher.com forward slash trial one dollar for 10 days take it out for a ride see if you love it like i do and our users do on the members area i'll show you exactly how you could be doing this sort of analysis yourself and of course when you are analyzing a sector xlf for example you may want to take a look at the stocks 
in XLF and see if some of them give better opportunities than the sector EDF itself. Have a nice week and on the next days I'm just going to go through the daily charts. Maybe on Friday again the weekly to see what could happen when the weekly candle is almost closing. So have a great week, make a lot of money and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.